As the days passed, the feeling of exhaustion weighed heavier on her shoulders. The girl found herself struggling to stay awake throughout the day, her eyelids drooping as if invisible hands were tugging them down. She would wake up in the morning feeling as though she had not slept at all, her body weary and her mind foggy. Despite her fatigue, she pushed herself to go about her daily routines, moving through her small apartment with a sense of unease. There were moments when she could have sworn that things had been moved slightly out of place. A chair shifted a fraction of an inch, or a book left open on a different page. But every time she stopped to inspect, everything appeared just as she had left it. The girl began to doubt her own senses, wondering if the lack of rest was playing tricks on her mind. She started keeping a journal, jotting down any odd occurrences or feelings of being watched. Each night before she went to bed, she would lock all the doors and windows, checking them multiple times to reassure herself of her safety. But the feeling of being unsettled lingered like a heavy fog in the corners of her mind. One evening, after a particularly grueling day at work, the girl trudged back to her apartment, her steps heavy with exhaustion. As she entered the door code and pushed open the door, a sense of foreboding washed over her. Something felt different, out of place. She entered cautiously, her heart thudding in her chest. She looked around her room and then she saw it. Her toilet seat was lifted. It was a small detail, easily dismissed by most. But for her... It was a jarring sight. It was her habit to always keep her toilet seat closed, a simple routine that brought her comfort and familiarity in the mundane aspects of life. The girl stood frozen in the doorway, her mind racing with possibilities. Had someone been in her apartment? Was it just a trick of her fatigue mind? She felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through her veins, pushing her to investigate further. She searched every room, every nook and cranny of her apartment. Nothing seemed out of place except for the peculiar toilet seat. As the night deepened, she found herself unable to shake off the unease that had settled in her bones, unable to trust her surroundings anymore. The girl made a decision. She would install a secret camera in her apartment, hidden in plain sight to catch any intruders in the act. The thought both terrified and intrigued her. But she knew she needed answers. Over the next few days, she carefully set up the camera, positioning it strategically to capture every angle of her living space. She felt a strange sense of empowerment as she watched the live feed on her phone. A silent guardian protecting her sanctuary. But as the first few days passed, Nothing strange happened when she watched the camera from her phone at work. The footage was mundane, her coming and going, the occasional delivery person dropping off a package, and the sunlight shifting through the windows as day turned to night. Disappointed yet relieved, she started to question her own sanity. Maybe she had let her exhaustion get the best of her, imagining things that weren't there. She decided to take a break from scrutinizing the camera feed, hoping that a few days away from it would clear her mind. After a few days had passed, out of curiosity, she decided to review the footage from the previous night and was shocked by what she saw. A man crawled out from under her bed and pressed a cloth over her face, knocking her unconscious with some sort of drug. The man moved through her apartment with a sense of familiarity, as if it were his own. He had clearly been here many times before, making himself at home in the space. As dawn approached, he quietly slipped out the door and disappeared into the early morning light, leaving behind no trace of his presence. The girl frantically scrolled through other footages, her heart racing as she watched him enter through the front door with ease early that afternoon. She couldn't help but feel a sense of unease at how effortlessly he seemed to know her password and slip inside. The hairs on the back of her neck stood on end as she saw him duck under her bed, hidden from view. Moments later, she arrived home, 
completely unaware that she was not alone in her own home. The tension thickened as she watched herself go about her routine, completely oblivious to his presence just inches away. As she crouched in fear, her eyes wide with disbelief as she repeatedly watched the footages. The man's gaze suddenly turned towards the camera. In that split second, she was able to see his face clearly, a rugged jawline, piercing blue eyes, and a stern expression. It was the security guard who had been patrolling the area, the one who had always seemed so friendly and approachable. Her heart pounding with urgency, she couldn't wait another moment. Racing to the nearby police station, she burst in tears and frantically presented the police with the footages. The police carefully observed the footage from the security camera and pieced together the entire situation. So, we're going to wait for the guy to come back to your place and catch him red-handed this time. It's time to put an end to this dangerous game. The police officers comforted her. Their presence a reassuring anchor in the storm of emotions she was feeling. Hey, don't worry. We've got your back, one officer said, placing a comforting hand on her shoulder. You can stay at the station for the night if you want. We'll make sure you're safe. The girl nodded, feeling a wave of gratitude wash over her. It was a small gesture, but in that moment, it meant everything to her. Moments later, the camera captured the sound of the door creaking open. With bated breath, the girl watched as he stepped into view. It was him. All right, this is it, the officer said, standing up from his chair. Let's get him. The police swiftly sent out their team to catch him. The girl held her breath, her hands shaking as she watched the live feed from her camera. After endless months of fear and uncertainty, she could finally exhale a sigh of relief as justice played out right before her eyes. The memories of that apartment were too heavy for the girl to bear, a constant reminder of the trauma she had endured. She made the difficult decision to move, unable to continue living in a place that held such painful associations. She longed for a fresh start, a new home where she could breathe freely and begin to heal from her past experiences. And so, with tear-stained cheeks and a heavy heart, she packed her belongings and left the apartment behind, hoping to find solace and peace in a new place. Mm -hmm.